guys, I'm Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop. I'm back with another free shortcut quilt. This is called Jelly Roll Sizzle, and it uses one jelly roll and just a little bit of background for your little points that it's going to create. Download your free pattern at Fat Quarter Shop. This comes in four size options, very easy and great for beginners. So let's get started. For this quilt, you're just gonna take a jelly roll and we're gonna be using 32 of the strips. So if you have leftover strips, you can use those on the back of your quilt to make a fancy backing. But what I would suggest is to take the 32 that you wanna use and starch them. I use Faultless Niagara Original Hold. When you starch your fabric, your fabric will shrink across this direction and it will still stay two and a half this direction. So you can always start your jelly roll when you're using it. So start your jelly roll and let's get started. Your next step is to take your 32 strips, pair them with another strip so that you have 16 strip sets of two. And on this one, you can just press to any side you want. You could also press open if you prefer, but the direction you press does not matter in this quilt because there's no seams that need to be met up with. What I sewed with for this quilt is the RFL 2000. And what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna trim these down. So you're starting with 16 of these, and from each strip set, you're going to cut three rectangles that are four and a half by 12 and a half. So I happen to have this awesome Creative Grids ruler that finishes at four and a half by 12 and a half. So what I'm gonna do is the Creative Grids ruler, the white line is the center, which matches up the center of this seam. And I'm just gonna cut one side. And from there, if you rotate and you cut, you might get a tiny, tiny piece of that jelly roll that comes off. And that's just an optional step. So from each strip, we're gonna cut three of those. And what I like to do is line up the center and just trim all four sides. Now, one more. Then you will have a total of 48 four and a half by 12 and a half inch strips. But I am gonna give you a tip here. When you're sewing your strip sets together, if you sew with a scant quarter inch and you put your ruler on top, it will come out perfectly four and a half by 12 and a half because your seam allowance will just be a little bit shorter. So if you're a little bit OCD like me, then that's a great option for you. So this next step, we're gonna be working with corner squares, which is super easy technique. You're gonna take only 32 of these rectangles. You're gonna have 32 fabric B squares. Now today I'm showing you instructions for the lap size. There are three other sizes that you can also make. I'm gonna use a friction pen, draw a line from corner to corner. When I iron later, the ink from the pen will disappear. And from here, I'm going to place it where the line is this direction on the left side of the rectangle. When I'm doing this, I will pin twice. And the reason I do that is I don't want it to shift when I get to my sewing machine. From here, you're gonna take a foot that's open so that you can see where you're stitching. And with whatever stitch length you normally use, which I usually use a 2.0, just stitch directly on that line, then remove your pins. And you will have 32 that look like this. So I would do all 32 first. Then you're gonna trim a quarter inch away from your stitching. Then you're going to press towards your background print and you're gonna have 32 of these units before we build our block in the next step. Now you should have 32 of this unit and 16 of this. And we're gonna build 16 blocks. So I'm gonna take two from this stack and one from this stack and we're gonna have fun building a block. Your first unit is gonna go just like we had it. Your second unit is the one without the corner square. And then this one, instead of going this direction, we're gonna just flip it 
And this is what is going to form your block. So you will have a corner square here and a corner square here. And what I do recommend is when you're sewing your block and you put them together, just pin on the right and on the left and stitch with a quarter inch seam. When you're done with that, you will add your next seam and you will have a total of 16 blocks that are 12 and a half inches square, unfinished. When you download your free pattern, the very first one is gonna be the lap size, which is what we're making today. But we do have size options for crib, twin, and queen that are also free. When you're putting your blocks together in your final quilt, you're gonna rotate your blocks so that every section has this little pinwheel right here. And you can just pay attention to the placement in your pattern and sew your quilt together. I would just sew them in rows and then sew your rows together and press according to the pattern. So this free Jelly Roll Sizzle quilt is a great addition to Jelly Roll Jam. So if you've made Jelly Roll Jam and you're ready to move on, this quilt is great. Today, we used Americana fabric from Minnick and Simpson, but at Fat Quarter Shop, we have tons of molded Jelly Rolls. So make sure to check us out, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you next time.